Don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. Hey everyone, so welcome back and there was some issue with the recording, it didn't record the whole thing so I'm redoing the thing again. So let's go back and I'll show you what things I have done or I had done and I, I undoed everything so it's from scratch. So. Okay, so first of all, I am going to save a dome to base64 and the second thing will be, we'll be adding orders. We'll try because last, in the last video I was not able to add the orders, but in this video I'll try. Okay, so to save the dome to base64, I will be using, as I told you, this uh, package. So in this package, what I'm going to do is, I'm, I'll first import the dome to image. And this is supposed to be done in customization, the place where you are like selecting that particular image. So that thing is in our customization. So I'm going to import this. Where is it? Okay, here. Okay, dome to image. And I'll quickly show you the function which does it for us. So I will copy and paste that particular function. Okay. So here is a function which is the same as this one, the function which they have provided. So what it does it is dome to image. First of all, it takes in the ID. So we have already named it my my node. We can name it whatever we want. We can name it that t-shirt selected t-shirt or whatever we want. Okay, it is going to take in the node. So this particular thing, and it's going to give us an image, new image, and that image. It is not going to give us an, a new image, but a data URL. So this is basically our base64. And image.src is data URL. So when you give it to it, it's going to do something and give us an image. OK, so first of all, this is all that we care about. So I'm going to show you where it is. So console log data URL and where's t-shirt okay in the t-shirt i have this my note so what i did was i cr i added this the whole thing into a function so that whole t-shirt is going to be in a function and this uh, color picker will be another div not a function my bad sorry is going to be in one div in one block and i'll be taking this particular block and this is position relative flex and this is good okay I think this should work I even most probably this should work as well so let's give this thing a try first so oh, where is this uh, my node okay this will be okay and I'll go into customization and I'll need to have a button which does it for us so for that button I'll need to have do our button and get image on click get image so all we care about is just the console log so I'll go back to our project and have our console open so hopefully this was started okay right now it just did get image and it's going to give us a data URI let's see what exactly is in it so data URI is going to be very long so this is all we care about right so we are getting this data URI and anyone can use this particular thing it's extremely long so yeah but this is all we care about so we did get our dome to base 64 so we will save it if we have it we can save it right so we will uh, add it into our options so let's uh, quickly go into adding the options so that addition can be done in our customization right so based on customization oh, where is it let me quickly uh, copy and paste the code so this is going to be on submit and 
we will need a context most probably yes we'll need context as well so I'm going to have constant context equal to use context use context and I guess it's going to be order context let's see use context which are the places we are using it okay pages use context add 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 are we doing addition there context use context has this particular one but I think we are using the add order here okay okay so this thing will have access to our add order so we'll see that but console law context let's see what do we have in the context so I'll remove this thing we don't need it at the moment but we will need it later on so in the not in the customization I'll just clean up a few stuff so we don't need this context thing in the customization we don't need what is the return mm, we don't need this button as well because we know this thing works okay so there's an error orders context because we didn't import it all right so let's import this thing what is complaining about all right so it's auto imported and hopefully this should work and there shouldn't be any issue so let's quickly take a look at it all right still complaining or what let me refresh it okay this guy stopped working all right hopefully this time I don't have any issue with the video recording it's already 1207 hmm okay so this should start working and also let me know how are you guys dealing with this quarantine are you guys home or are you guys working and did you know that we have already created a Facebook as well as a Instagram page and if you haven't liked it please like it because we will be posting a bunch of contents there and we are going to do some giveaways pretty soon so we are working on it so I'll introduce our team as well very soon because it's not just me we have a team who's working behind all of these mess so yeah there's a big team and as I told you already there's a guy in our team like most of them like not most of them I should say all of them are smart like I cannot include myself because they are way more smarter than me but there's an issue here see that's why I don't call myself good okay what is the issue and the issue is that we haven't added like we are not passing down these things so if you know this already that how the theme number works how theme one style works so this is basically the theme and this is the setting of the theme so this is what we need to pass down into the t-shirt so we get the proper layout on the t-shirt so I'll show you in just a second but yeah they were saying that we have people who are very smart the guy had cracked Google interview which was a 45 minute interview he completed it within 15 minutes and yeah the answers were right and if you if you guys have given Google interview you might know what exactly procedures are so the first round I'm, I'm talking about so you get a coding test and yeah the thing was done in 15 minutes I was so shocked wow this is so amazing alright so as you can see here I don't like this team but yeah that's alright I like messy but I don't like this team okay so but we have this uh, thing working and where is it team 2 team 1 okay let's pick this is one of my favorite colors okay 
so I love Eddie Rice now we have a new name so it should be Eddie Rice and as you can see here we have add orders as well so in the customization what I'm going to do is context dot add order should work yep context dot add order and add the this guy image and order for if order for is empty throw an error so if order for if no order for there's nothing return error order for is required or we can have an error state const error set error equal to use state and I can have set error order for is required and I will have just a return initially we'll have set error to or we can have a set error at this point as well after the context thing is added so if I submit where is the submit on click on submit okay let's see what happens so I'll have to refresh this thing again theme 2 theme 1 I'll keep it as it is small green this is good submit okay so it's I uh, forgot to show this thing but at least I can show it well, that's fine submit so if I go to orders we have two orders now I guess but that's supposed to be image as well okay no worries I'm gonna take care of it and I'll show you what exactly we need to do so stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.